guys, it's me. All right, it's 3.26 in the morning and I just woke up from my like nap to pack for my trip because I leave in two hours and I'm just now packing my bags. Let me just tell y'all I had a day yesterday. First off, I got my hair done. I got there at five and left there at almost 12 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> I was the last client in the shop, bro, I swear. When I got there, it was at least 20 other girls getting their hair braided. It was an African hair braiding shop in Harlem. Y'all know how they get down in Harlem. And me and my sister got the same style. We started at the same time with two different stylists. And she got out before me. This lady took an extra two hours on my hair after my sister got finished. Like, what are you doing? But I still, gratitude, tip, whatever. Let me out this bitch. I was just so tired and stuff. But I got my nails done too. And I told him to put the base as white. This was supposed to be like a blue ombre. And he was like, you know, you want a natural pink, natural. And I'm like, um, I don't know. He was like, it would look better. And I was like, okay. I don't like how it looks. It looks like fucking cotton candy. What the fuck? But you know what? I paid $70 for these. I'm gonna be happy. Today's video is gonna be a little pack with me. So I kind of already started. Um, I'm obviously not gonna pack my work bag on camera because I need my camera to put in there. <laughs> Even though I dead might just carry it in the airport. Never know what'll happen. But we're gonna pack my suitcase. You guys can't see, but I got my little DKNY suitcase right here. Hold on. DKNY per. Even though I didn't start packing the clothes I did buy, I put some of them up here so I know the idea of what the fuck I wanna bring. First, I just got this white bathing suit with the cover up. I was gonna unfold it, guys, but like, I come on. Like, who feel like doing all that unfolding and folding? You feel me? It's a white bathing suit. You, you wanna see some pictures of me in it? Go to my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. I might post something you know and i got this other bathing suit so you can see this one because this one is an underwire so i can't even fold it but i'm not gonna lie not to toot my own horn but i don't think this will fit cute though still gonna bring it um not the end for the bathing suits but then i just have this black romper you literally cannot see it but i just got this black romper type shit honestly the only thing traveling has really taught me is that pack what you need not what you feel like you need or not what you want Ooh, I got this. I got this long black dress with spaghetti straps. That's gonna be cute because I can wear this with no bra. And then I got this Gucci Mama bathing suit. Hold the top. I was about to be mad lazy and not fold it. <laughs> These braids are gonna get me tight. I think y'all could tell how heavy they are. I keep touching them. I don't know if I really like this bathing suit, but I'm gonna just let Instagram see if they like it. Another bathing suit. This is actually a one piece. Am I the only one who actually like one piece bathing suits? Like people be shitting on them like, oh, you probably like show some skin. Um, whatever fucking ratio of skin and clothes I want to put on today is none of your business. So get off my dick. <laughs> Shit. Okay, and then I just got some regular clothes. You know, I got another whole to top. Another whole to top. <laughs> They're comfortable. Yo, this shirt is actually mad fire though. It's like a off-sleeve um, see-through shirt. I when I take pictures in it, it's gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire. It's gonna be fire. And then I got a skirt. I got a brown skirt, which I don't even know what shirt I'm gonna wear with this. And then I got this white skirt. It's like a mini skirt. I don't know where this bathing suit come from, but it's another brown bathing suit that I plan on. I really feel like I don't plan on taking pictures in every bathing suit. These are a lot of fucking bathing suits. My legs hurt from sitting like that. Hold on. The key to vacation is to pack underwear like you're going to be shitting your pants every five seconds. If you don't got like 34 pairs of panties in your suitcase, you're doing the wrong game. Okay, I think that's good for my clothes. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I need more clothes. I don't know if I want to do activities this time on vacation. Like last time I did the horseback riding, the zip lining, and the um the ATV riding. But I don't know if I want to do them again this year because it was just so tiring. Like the activities take up the whole day. Like to do those activities, first of all, they be like two hours away from the resort. And you gotta wake up mad early <laughs> like you gotta wake up at like 5 a.m and if you don't catch that bus this is leaving you nigga. 
and then they have you there from like 7 in the morning to like 5 in the evening and then once you get back to the hotel the pools is closed at by 6 p.m. so it's like you got you ain't got shit to do you know what I'm saying so that's why I don't think I'm gonna be participating in the activities I don't know we'll see what happens we'll see what happens damn my friend just asked me if I have an extra tripod and I definitely don't Whew, okay all right y'all fake in my way so I'm gonna just move y'all I'm gonna just turn up the camera real quick hold on and we're back the goal is to be in the shower by 4 30 and i don't want to get in until everything is packed we're gonna have to hurry the fuck up and these are the shoes i'm bringing i'm bringing my new balance these are like my favorite pair of new balance that i have and i'm gonna bring my shatter backboards even though they acting like they really don't want to fit right now so i'm gonna wear my crocs to the airport I feel like that'll make the most sense for TSA anyway. Like I don't want to have to be taking off my shoes and then putting them back on. If, if you if you travel before on the airplane, you know how that shit go. It's annoying. I don't want to be doing all that. And I also tried to like pack clothes that I'm actually gonna wear. Like I have these tan cargos. Like I don't have to bring like all summer clothes. Like I still want to bring clothes that I feel like I could wear without a problem. Okay, I'm gonna bring my busted ass dunks. It's literally no space. And I also don't want to fill up my suitcase that much because I still want to like buy clothes and stuff out there Even though that should be expensive like when I'm a tourist like I, I really become a full-on ass tourist like start buying shit for no reason Okay, but I literally have no extra space for nothing So I'm gonna have to take something out one of y'all bitches gotta go I could take out this dress. I don't really like that dress. I never really liked you. Okay, so for the essentials, because y'all know I'm still a girl. We got some mousse, deodorant, my favorite lotion and perfume. Oh my God. I'm putting y'all on. Warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. Perfume and the lotion. Don't ask no questions. Just know if you got a little yeah, yeah, he gonna love that. Then I got some sunscreen, as y'all seen in my vlog toothbrush and of course my edge control and edge brush is already packed up for my work bag bring my planner my camera bag with all my equipment i have this polaroid right here but my sister got me a new polaroid for christmas she got me the official shit so this is the one i'm gonna bring you know we gotta have snacks <laughs> These shits is mad good. I don't know who put crack in them, but they gotta be cracking them or some shit. Then I got these cup noodles because I need my cup noodles. And when it's like I don't feel like eating the resort food, I could always go back to my trench meals. And then I then I got wait, but you can't bring water on the plate. That's some bullshit. To finish my work bag, I just need to put my camera back in there. Y'all remind me to go get my light out of my car, please. Remind me. For my suitcase. Got my bag. And then I really think we situated. Can't leave the bonnet. But this is going on my head. <laughs> oh, you thought I was traveling with my braids? Oh, this is going on my head. That that didn't even go with the correlation of the song. I'm about to go to Mexico, y'all. I think we beat the time too. It's 420. <laughs> Speaking of 420, I have to take my last few before we go out there because it's illegal out there. But it's fine. Tolerance break. Never hurt nobody. Y'all on this journey with me to stop. <laughs> I'm about to go get in the shower right now. We beat the clock. Ooh, he is cute. Oh, never mind. He missing a tooth. <laughs> All right, y'all. I just peeped. I didn't even get to show y'all the fit. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Feel me? Like... All right, but we just got to the airport. We in Delta. First of all, first of all, them TSA agents was being very rude. And whoever that tall one was with the dreads, I'm coming for you. You was cute, but I'm going to still come for you. Anyways, walk with me, walk with me. So, it's been a calm morning. Um, you know, I got my mom with me. She recording behind the camera. But yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't do a drip check. Like, you got to get the drip, mom. Okay. Get a close up on these socks, though. What that say? My fucking money, bitch. <laughs> All right, bitches. We just landed and we out the fuck side, bitch. Period. And you know what's really crazy? Why I was about to pay one hundred and eighty nine dollars for a bag of Doritos? <laughs> no, nah, I promise y'all, I'm not stupid. It's a different. It's a different currency. Relax. Anyways. 
the braids is braided and it's really it's not giving new york out here it's definitely giving summer breeze but you know what i'm ready to throw on some shorts and shake some ass me and my sister wasn't on the same plane um as well as our friends but we're gonna link up with them at the resort so stay tuned for that because we gotta go see them in like a few minutes all right bitches we just got to the resort and let me show y'all mtv cribs real quick so first off we got my king size bed oh my god and then big ass closets you feel me you feel me robes feeling like queens up in this bitch Nothing I'm not already am though, right? Okay, and then we got my see-through shower. Too bad my nigga not here. It's fine, it's fine. And then, I don't know about the bathroom, but yeah. My sister and our friends is in the other room, so we about to go surprise them right now. I think this is on me. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Yo, we outside. We outside. Hey, Gigi, hey, dog. Hey, outside. My niggas finally linked up. Bye. All right, y'all. I think that's going to conclude for today's little, you know, some, some little vlog, little pack with me video. I'm going to wrap this up, but if I was y'all, I would definitely stay tuned for my Mexico content because it's about to get lit. I mean, do y'all see where the fuck I'm at? Like, do y'all see where I'm at? This is beautiful! Yeah. Yeah, act like you know. So, as always, thank y'all for taking the time out y'all day to tune into my video! It's Damo, and I'm logging off this bitch. Period! Alright, bye. Cheese.